There's another capability built into the group by aggregate queries, and that's the having clause, which is similar to a where clause, but instead of filtering the original from data, it filters the data set that is the result of the aggregate. This could be done by wrapping a subquery into an outer query and then placing a where clause in the outer query, but it's nice having the having clause right there. To show this in code, I'm going to first comment out the having clause, And you can see in the average that year 2005 fourth quarter had an average of 19. This having clause will then filter that row out, row not being one of the source rows from the raw data table, but row referring to a resulting row from the aggregate grouped by those four rows. So to execute this, sure enough, the 2005 quarter four disappears. It's filtered out by the having clause. The SQL definition for aggregate queries also includes a number of ways to add grand totals. I'm showing you this so the lesson is complete, but I'm not a big personal fan of some of these capabilities. I think in recent years, the capabilities of OLAP, data warehousing, business intelligence, these types of tools, even the reporting services types of tools, have gotten to the point where it's better to handle these types of problems in those tools than right here in the raw SQL. But I know this type of information is on the certification tests, and I want your information to be complete. So I want to go ahead and show these to you. The first one is Rollup. Rollup will simply provide a grand total at the bottom. I've used a case expression to give it a category called All Categories. There's the case expression. Rollup adds a new function called grouping that you can test to see whether it's 0 or 1 on whether or not this is a row that was added by the rollup. And you can see this provides a sum of the count. And in most situations, you would do this in the reporting tool using a footer. So rollup with multiple group by categories will provide subtotals for the first category. As you can see in the results, there's a subtotal for Y, a subtotal for Z. Cube is like the roll-up on steroids. It'll provide a subtotal for every possible combination of every group by column. So if I open this up, you can see here is the X, the subtotal for X, Y, Y, subtotal for Y, Z, subtotal for Z, and then open this up. Here's the subtotal for 2006 for all categories, 2005 for all categories, and then here's the grand total. But again, if you need to do this type of analysis, it's best to do pivot tables in Excel or to use analysis services. Compute is interesting. Compute will actually add what appears to be a second result set, giving you cool information. So this executed as if it was a single query, and then we ran the compute afterwards, which looked at the same data, but then returned the average of the amount and the sum amount. This can also have a group by added to it. And then this is pushing compute to the limits. We're doing a compute to get the average and the sum. And then we're doing another compute to get the sum by category.